So over here you can see that I have a storyboard project and now let's say I create out a layer right here. So let me just go around and draw out something rough just like this and let's say I'm going to go around over here and create out another vector layer and in this case I'm just going to go around over here onto tool properties uh, and let me increase out the size of the tool right here. So let me just choose around a different color for this as well. So let me just go around, choose around something like darker green. And then let's say I'm going to trace this out. So you can see that I have two layers now and I'm going to add in a third layer over here as well as the notation layer. So let me just go around and delete out this layer because I accidentally created one more. So here in this case, I'm going to choose red and I'm going to go around and decrease around the size of the brush right here. And uh, let's say this is going to be something like arrows right here, just like this. And this is going to be like something like a note right here. So I'm just going to go around, write in something like note. And there you go. So uh, I'm going to go around right here and change around, let's say, how this actually works. So you can also go around onto and create out another layer right here. So let's say um, this is going to be the reference layer right here. So you can see that I can add in details onto many different layers right now. So uh, whenever you're exporting out storyboard, let's say for example, if you're planning to make a storyboard itself, you might want to add in these details right here. But in case of an animatics, maybe you don't want to add in these details. So in that case, what you can do is you can go around onto uh, windows and then go to layers right here. So once you do that, the layers panel open up and here uh, you can see that you can select out individual layers. So let's say, for example, I can go around onto the top right here. So so now this this particular layer will be exported to PDF, movie and harmony file right here. But if I were to disable PDF, then this layer won't be exported to PDF. But let's say I want to explore, uh, um, uh, like uh, um, exclude this from animatics. So I'm going to go around, disable the movie right here, just like this. So in case of, let's say, for example, PDF, let's say I don't want to export out the rough layer. I just want the final layer right here. So in this case, I'm going to go around, disable this from PDF and movie right here. So now it'll only be exported in Harmony file. That means this particular layer will be exported in Harmony file, but not in PDF and movie formats. So that is how you can ex uh, exclude out uh, different layers for different formats, as you can see right here. So these are the formats. So here you can see that only in the movie it is excluded out. Over here you can see it is in this particular layer is included for all file types, while this one right here is excluded out for PDF and movie. And that is how you can exclude out layers for different file formats um, uh, by using the layer panel inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.